Hey guys, Brutal here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here for another part of our Rags to Riches series. Uh, 16, maybe. I don't know. We're getting along, aren't we? In the series. So our um, silage bunker is done. It's ready to go. Let's see if we can pick it up. Oh, there we go. We can. Awesome. Pick it up using this guy. That's the main thing. So I wonder what we're hitting then, but we're hitting with the trailer on the back, I think. Let's try and... Oh, no, it's not going to work. I need to give him a bit of a open hand. There we go. Thank you. Alright, so... We're going to be able to... Pick up a lot of this silage here, which is good. I don't know how we're going to go with this big pile here. I want to do it in stages. Alright, there we go. That's taking it out pretty good there, actually. Definitely going to have to level it out a bit better than what we did last time. I do have some silage sitting outside here as well. Yeah, it's sprayed in the trailer, that's the main thing. Right, we'll shut that down, uh, lift it back up. I'm going to have to grab this guy and try and get our rear end out of here. I hate the fact that we have to do this, but I just cannot reverse it in there properly. So that's what we sort of need to do. Um, what I might do is actually drop you off. Drop you off as well. We don't really need to take that with us. Hook you up. There we go. We can just take the silage trailer itself, which will be a lot easier for us. So we don't have that sort of thing hanging off the side and causing us to get stuck in places. Um, quick look. We have weed there, so we're going to need to get um, the sprayer over there spraying with weeds as well. So that's another thing we have to do this episode. Um, I completed that other fertilizer job. Uh, there's another one there, field 31. I think that's it. I know there's a few other fertilizing jobs and we're banging off the fences there. So we'll have a look at those fertilizing jobs as well. Bring a little bit more money in. Um, I think there's some achievements that we can do by doing a certain amount of jobs for other people. Um, I haven't done a great deal on this map. Actually, I've done more on this map than I've done on any other map, to be honest. So, yeah, I think we should be pretty close to maybe getting it. I think it's maybe 50 jobs or something. I don't know how many jobs I've done on this map. Maybe 10 to 15. So then again, we might not even be halfway yet. Because I don't think there's um, any other maps where I've really done too many other jobs to help anybody out. Alright, so we're nearly at the sell point. It's 40,000 litres of silage. I don't know what the price is. I haven't had a look. So we'll see what sort of money we make out of this trailer. We should have two full trailer loads and a little bit extra. Um, There's 93,000 litres in our silage bunker. So there's plenty in there. Alright, jump up on here and see how we go. Tip it off. Gonna make a decent amount of money out of it. Um, not as much as we would if we had it as the same sort of price as our canola and soybeans, but we get a lot more silage out of the grass than we do actually out of a harvest of like canola and stuff. So what's that? 26,000. We should get 52,000 plus a little bit extra. Maybe about 60,000, 65,000 in total once we get all this picked up and taken back here and, and sold everything. So um, it's pretty good for one day's work cutting all that grass. I'm not sure if it's ready to go again. Straighten ourselves up. Not yet. No, everything's growing, so it won't be until the next day. I don't think that we'll have to, have to um, go down and 
get it cut and that sort of thing. Um, I think as much as I want to buy that other bit of land next door to us straight away, I want to put in a house first. We don't have anywhere that we spawn at the moment and um, we always spawn back at the shop so I'd like to be able to spawn back at our house at the start of every episode, have somewhere where we can actually sleep and get through the night without me having to sit here with times 120 and and that sort of thing so I think our next purchase next big purchase will definitely be our house which I'm going to put in this field here somewhere maybe like down the back down the back corner which will mean we probably don't need to cut down a lot of those trees there alright so we'll swing back in so I wonder if we can um, so we probably could attach this to the front but it probably won't work very well will it right, unhook you not on this tractor anyway because we don't have a front attacher but the other tractor will be facing the wrong way right, so pick him up go and attach it back onto the trailer try and get as much Solid out of here as we can. So I'll run right along this edge. Right in. Hopefully we'll just be able to get the majority of this and have it to move too much further. This is why I think probably the base came bunk would be a lot better. Man, it's still it's still working, so I can't complain. So I'm sort of aim for this corner now. See how much this one can get taken down. The only problem I might I might encounter here is not being able to get 100% of this silage. Because we're sort of hitting the end of the. Um, the wall there. Back right out, there we go. I'm going to bring our tractor in right along this wall. I don't think that's helping oh, that much. Why well, don't go from here oh, and go for a run. Move that trailer over a bit. Try not to move the tractor, just move the drag the trailer over. Okay, I'm sort of concerned that we're not gonna get all along that side. We're getting a fair bit of it, but not all of it. There we go. We need to oh, get back out of here. Drag him back here. Uh, drop the trailer off. Oh, wrong button. Grab that guy, drop him down. The only thing we can sort of do is drive in and out. And collect it. It's going to be quite hard to get in there and collect all that. So I don't think... Uh, where are we? The IMT tractor that we've got now, which is this guy. Um, no, we can't get like the front loader attachment on it to get a bucket to get the rest of that, unfortunately. So that could be uh, another purchase. Get one, get rid of one of these tractors and um, get one of those ZDORs. Oh, actually the fortress with the front loader attachment. It's probably going to be the way to go, I think. Um, what is this guy worth though? One of them, I know in my life we'll probably sell the one we don't want to sell. One's 170, one's 210, so the one that's 170, which is this one I think, 
Yeah, we'll probably sell this one. How much was it worth? 22 grand, so we're probably... It won't cost us much to upgrade to the Fort Street and get that front loader attachment and the bucket to sort of clean this out. We're probably going to have to, I think, to get it finished off and cleaned out properly. I'll try to get as much as we can using, obviously, the implement that we've got. But then we'll have to definitely upgrade from this guy to the Fortrit tractor. Um, they're both exactly the same price too, so we can get one that's got um, narrow tyres, wide tyres, all that sort of thing. So I think we'll just sort of go with the standard version, just with the front loader attacher on it. Chuck this guy in. There we go. Let's have a look. Um, oh, 55,000. Much more expensive than I thought. Um, did we, we had this guy before, didn't we? I thought we did. We sort of need a tractor with a front loader attachment. Uh, well, this one's got one. That's a pretty cheap tractor. Guess we could probably buy this, the IMT 533. Someone has asked me to pick it up, so uh, let's buy that. That is a pretty cheap alternative to what I was going to do. Uh, front loader. Of course, we'll go with um, this guy. I'll probably go with... Uh, not Crimson. Maybe Hardy, I guess. That might sort of fit the same colour. And we'll go with... Silage cutter, I don't know. It's got a bigger bucket on it, so I'll probably go with that. Uh, Hardy. Bye. There we go. I don't know if we'll be able to load manually to this either because of the sort of the cover on top and everything. Not quite sure, but we'll make somebody happy. Somebody did ask for us to get the IMT uh, 533, I think it was called. Whatever it was we just purchased, someone asked to get that. That's one of their favourite tractors, so we've picked it up. Nice and cheap too. Right, so I'll head back down. I'll grab that attachment onto here again, try and get as much as we can. Even if we use the bucket, we can always pick it up and tip it off outside of the um, silo bunker and then pick it up with our attachment anyway, so... It'll work fine. I still feel like these roads, these roads are so narrow. We could probably widen them with Giants Editor, no doubt. They are, yeah, pretty narrow. I'll pass the shop again, a new tractor over there with all their attachments. Exciting times. Did reset both the mowers back to the shop because we had dramas with them. As you guys seen the last episode with the PTO and stuff, it was um kind of going crazy. Oh, we need to get this thing in and get as much as we can. Oop. Oh, pick it up. Thank you. God damn. Oh, so I'm running sort of a weird angle just so we can sort of drag it down the side. Certainly not going to get it all from the left hand side of the silo, but we'll try and get as much as we can. That's pretty much all we're going to get, I think. Oh, there we go. Drag him out. Um, I might do a quick run along this side of it because there is 
for some strange reason there's like silage on the ground which uh, all right let's this guy the way I don't know what I've picked up now uh, that was just normal grass I think Turn that off for a second. Where's the silage? Turn it on now. That should be. Oh wow, god, done it again. No, we don't want that. We want the other bit. There we go. Picked up a little bit of it. There was some sitting outside the bunker, which was kind of strange. I don't know why, but it was there. I'll just park this guy here. Why? Leave that. Actually, leave it running. Leave it turned on. Oh, Jesus. What happened to my hair? I certainly had hair before I got on this tractor. <laughs> Oh Jesus. Uh, maybe that's not a very good purchase. It um looked good at the time. Yeah, it's definitely not a good purchase. Let's get rid of that. God, that is a shame. Uh, yeah, the 539 is what we just had. Let's go back in. Ah, what can we get now? We had this guy, which is terrible. Have you got... No, you don't have a front load attachment. So the 533... That's what we, the deluxe. What about the 533? That's one with a massive amount of power and no front loading. The ZTO has a front loading attacher. The Ursus don't. Um, could possibly just buy that for a dollar just to get get done what we need to get done. I'm not sure if we did purchase this tractor before. Alright, it's gonna work. Get the stuff done we need to get done and then we'll get rid of him again. I wonder if we get a dollar back. Maybe 50 cents. Put this on the ground, make sure. Picking it all up. Sound sort of isn't the best, is it? I'll see if we can put it straight in. I don't know if we'll be able to. No, okay. Let's um, throw it down. There you go, that works. Try and pick all of this up. There we go. It's going to be a couple of runs in and out, I think, before we're finished. Got a awful lot of um, lag there for a minute. Why it's lagging so bad. Let's try and go get that little bit that we missed. Sound is certainly not impressive with this mod. It sort of sounds good and then the sound sort of goes away. It's kind of really weird.
go back in. Might be a couple more buckets full, I think. Then we'll be done. I think we probably will have a bit more, a bit of a better go at it if we actually had the normal bunker, but I think we'll just um, stick with this one. Just sort of deal with it. Right, one more bucket after this. So the house, I think, right down in the centre down there somewhere will do. Which will obviously take away from our, a bit of our grass and a bit of our silage in the long run, but we we'll still have enough, even once we get that field over there, we'll have more than enough. Um, uh, so we need to put in a lot of storage sheds and stuff here as well for all of our equipment. So it's empty. There's nothing we can do with it now, is there? No, good. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Empty it all out. Okay. Gonna detach this to the side here. jump out. Uh, sell it for zero dollars. Thank you very much. Just did what we need you to do. That's the main thing. Is that all we're going to get? I think that's it. Alright, shut that down. What are we looking for time-wise? A little bit of time left. Five minutes or so. Um, timber frame house with shed. Where are we? Uh, no. Ah, there's the animal's place. Where are we? All the way down here. Okay. Field 41 we want to go to. Maybe, actually, maybe over here off to the side. Will be um, not a bad spot. Don't know exactly where we wanted to go. Um, maybe about here. Bonk. Oh, well that. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's um. Yeah, that obviously is not meant to be like that. That bottom part is... Either there's an error with the mod or there's an error with my download. One of the two. But that's a shame because that um, looks pretty good down there. I'm going to leave it here for now anyway. I'm not going to bother changing it. It can stay um, and then we'll, I guess we'll work on things from there. Um, I want to put grass all back down. And then we can work on uh, the painting after. Uh, along the back, we don't want any dirt, we want grass. careful too with this because the more you paint the more money you lose but um, that's a shame that really is but um did look like a really good mod which I thought was really gonna suit um, our game pretty well so that's the right texture it's the main thing so I make sure we got the right texture because I want to run like a dirt road down 
towards the house. Uh, change that to there. Let's go to dirt. I think there's a few different dirt textures. So that one. This one, which is like the muddier one, which it probably will go with. Or there's that lighter one, but I think this one will, will work. So we want to run sort of around the field because we're still going to have this as obviously our grass field for now. Um, and then we'll run where our storage sheds in and stuff later on once we get this a little bit more money we've only got 20 grand at the moment so don't want to be spending too much on um stuff that we don't really require at the moment we don't really require this either but just for our aesthetics and to make things look like it should might as well bite the bullet spend that little bit of money and get it done. I'm going to have a look for that mod again and see if I can re-download it and um, hope that the textures have been fixed because that's a bit of a um, disappointment. Now it probably really doesn't matter which house we use but I sort of was set on using that house now and Um, not how we expected it to be. Alright, there we go. So that'll give us the road to run down. Uh, let's go backwards. We still need to take this to the shop, but go for a quick run down. See around our field. down towards the house. It's all parked up down here so we can put some sheds along here for storage and even still have the centre part as grass so the field. I feel like the field is plenty big enough for us to be able to do that. Ooh, that shed is not big enough for our tractors. Definitely going to need a car. Of course we can just run it down Park it out the front and that will still work. So the sounds are there. The top part of the house is there. It's just this bottom part that ah, isn't working. We do have the normal timber house, like the normal house without the actual bottom part, which you can possibly put in as well. I don't think I've got it in this save. We don't, no. Don't have enough money. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess um, we'll end the episode here, guys. Fortunately, it sort of hasn't gone how we wanted it to go. Certainly, we're hoping to get our house in the end of this episode, but while it's there, it's not perfect. But um, we'll work on it between episodes and see how we go. So, um, if you guys enjoyed it, as always, smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know if you like that house, if I can get it fixed. If not, if you've got an idea for another house, um, leave it in the comment section, let me know. And um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.